Hi guys, what's up? Um, it's Fire Monkeys 12 here, and um, wow, you can see on the screen it's a no mega challenge again with that Team 5, which is playing up again because of that damn Typhlosion ability. Uh, where is it? As you can see, I made a couple, there's a lot of teams on there. Quickly get to see um, what it is. So if we switch it to Blaze, it should no work. There we go. Thing is, I want it to be Flash Flare. But however, it seems to bug the system. Um, so we just start with this one. There you go. Shiny fairy form to start with, as always. And out comes the Charizard. Bad setup, I know. So I'll just quickly switch into Crawfish. Take the Fire Blast. Pretty Aqua Jet. Okay. The Charizard's a bit more bulky than the fall. I haven't really got stern edge on any of this. I have got the rock slide and typhlosion though. Would have been a better switch in. But with the rock slide and typhlosion. It should switch out just some pure curiosity. Because of my typhlosion I could be quicker than his Charizard. He's missed the focus blast. And I got my rock slide off. That is what I'm talking about. Sadly, I think I had the ice beam on on the uh, thing as well. So taking down the Latios is going to be a bit harder. You should switch into the uh, Hippodon, which will give me a switch into the Crobat. We should be all right. Would have loved to get my rocks up by now though. Plus, it shouldn't be taking this long. I mean, it's a Typhlosion. Okay, so you bring in... I really want to burn this thing. If I don't take it out, I want to burn it. And there is a possibility it could be quicker than it, because those aren't exactly slow stats from Typhlosion. So, I'm intrigued. And that'll be why he switched into it. Um, maybe getting a sludge bomb off on this thing with the crowbat might be the best idea. I mean, if I get poison off on anything, so you're probably gonna go for the stonage here. Really like set up the toxic spikes, man. Toxic spikes would help me loads. Because as soon as the cardio comes out, bam, toxic spikes. If he switches that the power down again, toxic spikes. He'll have loads of Pokemon poisoned. So bringing out the world paid for me and maybe setting up some toxic spikes. Is what I gotta do. Now they're quite slow speed stats. I mean, if you watched the last video, the Pokemon was still quicker than it, even with the speed boost on it. Really should have the uh, Tom Bass on the Whirlpeed. I mean, I've just gone up and. If I can just get the poison on the hippodon, on, I might be able to wait it out of out of attacks. But I've got no real threat to his team at all. I mean, I've lost my fire and too many um too many fierce threats have gone. Too many poison types in the team, 
do admit now this was a really bad team build really bad on my part really wish my burn over would have taken over then got a swords dance just to show you I'm just going to stay in with this because there's not much that hip hardon can do to me yes toxic damage is going to do a lot but I've now got something that can do quite a lot of damage and the side shot takes me out bring in the fair fawn go for the knockoff unless I can get everything poisoned and I don't really have a tech set up on anything though but if I get rid of anything with ice beam on it then I should be able to just roost up a lot of the damage I mean the fair fawn if it gets rocks off now then we could roost up and do damage by spikes and rocks just got rid of the poison thing but we know um got rid of the latios so get rid of this cardio I go for the toxic on the cardio as it goes to the cold just make sure I got some toxic to help me out also going for the knockoffs and the thing is if I can keep Keep Ferrothorn and lie, the knockoff will do shit loads of damage to the Eid Slash, and then the Thunderous will be the only problem. But because I have my Ferrothorn set up, that's the only worry. And Crobat's not exactly slow, and it's got the Sludge Bomb. As you've already seen, so it switches out. I don't think this can do much to me, so I'm gonna skate out and move. Okay. Eater Slash is gonna go for probably, if he's playing Clavery, we'll go for the King Shield. Here, meaning that I can get the free switch in on the Ferrothorn and go for the knockoff. They're doing damage to whatever comes in. Because he'll have to switch out the Eater Slash then, otherwise his Eater Slash will be in problems now. Could risk going for the two attacks and then maybe losing out of speed. As I thought, he went for the King Shield and it failed. So I'm going to go for the knockoff here. Normally with Eater Slash, you'll only use the one attack and then your King Shield out of pure safety. I mean, bring it into defense mode, even if you're slower than the opponent, you're more likely to take the hit in defense mode than you are in attack, man. So it's it's what everyone's gonna do pretty much. It's unlikely that you'll see someone go for two attacks in a row unless they go for um, a move and then a shadow sneak. Basically, the second move has to be quicker than you, otherwise they really are risking all the game on just making, just hoping that your base base stats are good for it. I mean, I can take that special defense mode dropped. But I've got the knockoff. And expecting the King Shield here. Oh, because he was quicker. Now, if I expect the King Shield. Because he has tech twice. I can get rid of this thing if I roost and then hit it. Roost hit it with Brave Bird. I've got the Sludge Bomb for the Cardio. Then it's only just a pure fight between me and the Landorus. Uh, this battle is going to get very interesting thanks to Ferrothorn. Because he really doesn't need to think now. Because even if he switches out here, I get my roost off anyway. If he goes to King Shield, I get my roost off. If he goes to the Shadow Sneak, he might actually KO the Crobat. So the Shadow Sneak, if he's got it on the Eater Slash, is his best bet here. So, my friend, my question to you. Have you got the Shadow Sneak? And are you going to risk it? Because it is a risk, because if it doesn't kill, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna roost. 
be able to kill it next turn. If it does, if he goes to King Shield, I've got the, I've chosen Roost anyway, so I'm going to gain back even more health. Or if he switches, I'm just going to get the Roost. So it's not a turn wasted for me either way, unless he KOs me with a Shadow Sneak. Because that Crobat man, that 359 speed stat. And yes, I've probably gone for the wrong wrong set of attacks because its attack stats are its physical attack stats are really good. Oh, I went for the Shadow Ball. Well, I didn't expect that. I've got to have health to use the Brave Bird. I've yeah there's no way I was going to win that unless I was not gaining enough health he was doing six, 62 per turn so wasn't really going to gain that back anyway this has been Fire Monkey 12 please like subscribe see you later bye